hello and welcome back to this channel once again in this video we are going to continue our lesson on coordinate geometry 2 we are going to focus on how to find the equation of a tangent and normal to a circle now let's consider a circle which has center c with coordinates a b and assuming that we have a point P, which has coordinates x1, y1, on the circumference of the circle. Now, the distance between the point P and C is what we call the radius. And then it is represented with the letter R. And the tangent to the circle at any given point, say P, is the straight line that just touches the circle at that point so this is called the tangent or the tangent line now this tangent line is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact now in that case let's assume that the gradient of the radius is m1 so m1 is the gradient of the radius Now to find the gradient of the radius, m1 is given by y1 minus b divided by x1 minus e. So this is the gradient of the radius and because the radius is perpendicular to the tangent line, the gradient of the radius which is m1 times the gradient of the tangent line is equal to negative 1 so that the gradient of the tangent line which is m2 is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the radius so if you want to find the equation of the tangent to the circle then it's given by y minus y1 equals m2 times x minus x1 where m2 is equal to negative 1 over m1 so this is how to find the equation of the tangent to the circle now let's talk about the normal so using this same diagram the normal is the line that is perpendicular to the tangent line so this is called the normal or the normal line now this normal line passes through the center of the circle hence the gradient of the radius is the same as the gradient of the normal line in that case m1 is equal to m2 so to find the equation of the normal to the circle then it's also given by y minus y1 equals m2 times x minus x1 however in this case m1 is equal to m2 now using these two approaches we are going to find the equation of the tangent and normal to the circle x square plus y square plus 16x minus 10y minus 28 equals 0 at the same point which is negative 2 negative 4 now let's solve these two questions so for the first one we are going to find the equation of the tangent to the circle x square plus y square plus 16x minus 10y minus 28 equals 0 at the point negative 2, negative 4. So let's not forget that the point negative 2, negative 4 is the point on the circumference of the circle. Now, because we are going to solve i, that is the equation of the tangent to the circle, what we are going to do at first is to find the center of the circle. Then, using this point, we can find the gradient of the radius of the circle that passes through the point negative 2 and then negative 4. Then, the gradient of the tangent, then we can find the equation of the tangent to the circle so to find the center we are going to compare this equation 
to the general equation of a circle. So we have the equation x squared plus y squared plus 16x minus 10y minus 28 equals 0. And then the general equation of a circle is given by x squared plus y squared plus 2jx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now let's compare coefficients of the x term. So we have 16 equals 2j and then we divide through by 2 we have j equals 8. Also for the coefficient of y we have negative 10 equals 2f we divide through by 2 and then we have f to be equal to negative 5. Now the center is given by negative j negative f so we have the center of the circle to be negative 8 and then 5. So this is the coordinate of the center of the circle. Next, we are going to find the gradient of the radius. So the gradient of the radius is given by m1 and that is equal to y1 minus b divided by x1 minus a. Now the coordinates of the center is represented by AB and the point on the circumference of the circle is X1, Y1. So we have Y1 to be negative 4, so negative 4 minus and then B is 5. And then for X1, X1 is negative 2 minus and then A is negative 8, so it becomes plus 8. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. Negative 2 plus 8 is 6. Therefore, we have the gradient of the radius to be negative 3 over 2. Now, because we are talking about the equation of the tangent line, then we say that the gradient of the tangent line is equal to negative 1 over m2. Therefore, this is equal to negative 1 over negative 3 over 2 which is equal to negative 1 times negative 2 over 3 negative cancels out negative so this becomes 2 over 3 so the gradient of the tangent is 2 over 3 now let's find the equation of the tangent to the circle so that is given by y minus y1 equals m2 times x minus x1 we have y1 to be negative 4 so this becomes plus 4 and then m2 is 2 over 3 times x minus we have x1 to be negative 2 so this becomes plus 2 now because we have a fraction here we are going to multiply each term by 3 so we have 3y plus 3 times 4 is 12 equals 3 times the whole of this is equal to 2 times x plus 2. So we have 3y plus 12 equals 2x plus 4. Now let's transpose 2x plus 4 to the left hand side. So this becomes 3y plus 12 minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. We have 3y minus 2x now 12 minus 4 is 8 so plus 8 equals 0 so this is the equation of the tangent to the circle now let's solve for ii where we are going to find the equation of the normal to the circle x squared plus y squared plus 16x minus 10y minus 28 equals 0 at the point negative 2 negative 4 so in finding the equation of the normal to the circle, basically we are going to use the same approach that is finding the coordinates of the center of the circle and then also finding the gradient of the radius of the circle. Now at this point, because we are talking about the normal line, 
the gradient of the radius which is m1 is equal to the gradient of the normal line so in that case we are going to use this formula straight away so that we say that y minus y1 is equal to m2 times x minus x1 where m1 is equal to m2 so we are not going to go through this process okay because the gradient of the radius is equal to the gradient of the normal line in that case we are going to use this value that is negative 3 over 2 so we have y minus y1 we have y1 to be negative 4 still negative 4 so this becomes plus 4 equals m2 is the same as m1 so that is negative 3 over 2 times x minus we have x1 to be negative 2 so this becomes plus 2 we multiply each term by 2 to do away with this fraction so we have 2 times y that is 2y 2 times 4 is 8 and this becomes negative 3 times x so we have negative 3x and then negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 now let's transpose these terms to the left hand side so we have 2y this becomes plus 3x and then we have plus 8 so negative 6 becomes plus 6 which is 14 so plus 14 is equal to 0 so this is the equation of the normal to the circle